You know, we all need our fruits. And this is a really simple little apple cake that I'm gonna make. I'm using tons of apples, walnuts, and the main flour ingredient is going to be um, almond, although I'm going to use a bit of spelt flour just to kind of help it bind up a little bit better. Um, again, um, apples, um, what, I'm, what I've done here is just roughly chopped my apples. They're actually my own that I've grown myself, um, but I've actually chopped them and left the skin on. So I just took out the core, chopped them into kind of nice chunks, and I'm going to cook that very, very lightly just to soften them up a little bit with my spices. Uh, play around with your spices. You could use cardamom here. I'm using mixed spice, a bit of nutmeg, cinnamon, uh, some ground ginger and things like that. But it's all about just playing around with just ingredients. I'm going to cook it at 180 degrees. Another good tip is if you can get these little uh, mold liners, it can be very handy for a cake like this. So um, I'm just going to go straight on and cook this. So the first job is to cook my apple. Um, I cut it into a nice large dice, um, left the skin on it because I want to keep all the fiber and things like that. Just almost a tablespoon of water, just to kind of get it started. Pop a lid on it, and on a nice high heat, um, I'm just going to let that gently cook. I, I don't want to make it full like an apple sauce or a stew. I want to just kind of soften the apples a little bit, so I want to keep as much texture as I can. So as my apples just start to warm up there, and if you think your pan is a little bit dry, just add a one or two more tablespoons of water if you deem it necessary. But you do want to keep this kind of dry. Now I'm going to just add my spices, my nutmeg, my cinnamon, my ground ginger, and my mixed spice. I'm just going to let those kind of just gently cook through the apple. And just let it just soften through then, just again nice and lightly. Now at this point also, with my spices, just going to add in my caster sugar and just let that mix through the apple. And as you can see, this all of a sudden starts to come to life <coughs> just as that sugar melts through it. <clears throat> and I'm also going to add in my walnuts in here at this stage as well. Also, I'm just going to add in just a pinch of salt, about half a teaspoon of even, but even a quarter of a teaspoon. It just kind of allows this doll kind of come to life a little bit. And that's it. That's my apple, just nicely cooked up there. Very, very simple little piece of stewed apple. And I'm just going to put that aside now and complete the cake. To make this simple cake, I'm going to get my four eggs, crack them into a mixing bowl with the attachment. I'm just going to get those just a very quick whisking. I'm just having broke up the eggs just a little bit. And now I'm going to add in my almond flour, or ground almond, my spelt flour, and my baking powder. I'm just going to just let those mix together just lightly for a second on a low speed. Now when I just form that up, I'm now going to add in my apple, and I'm going to use about three quarters of my apple in this, in the mixture itself. I just keep a little small amount of it back. And then just mix that in by hand, form a nice little batter. And 
and then I'm going to spoon that batter into my molds. Now what I'm going to do is, with the remainder of the mixture, I'm just going to spoon that gently on top of the, um, of the batters and kind of push it into it, just to get a little bit of texture on top. Kind of semi kind of mix it with the batter but on the top onto that I'm just going to pop a few more of my walnuts just roughly on top just to give again a little bit of texture. And then I'm going to pop these straight into the oven. Just going to push those in just a little bit. Sheet then and into the oven 180 degrees for about 30 30 40 minutes and I'll give you the exact time when out okay so into the oven so having cooked these for about 40 minutes actually in the oven just gonna pull them out there now and as you can see Putting that apple on top gives this lovely kind of glaze on top. And then I'm going to use my chopstick here, or a skewer. I'm just going to pop it in there, nice and deep. Pull it out, and when it comes out nice and dryish, um, it should be all good and ready to cook. And just let them stand for about 45 minutes there before trying to cut them.